sure. <laughs> I'm just I'm that good. I'm really good. I'm really humble about it too. Very humble. I'm the best. Hey, clapping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to call this. Um, I mean, this is sort of a fly fishing with Adam and Adam. Just me. Not anybody else at all. It's just me. Um, yeah, fly fishing with Adam, I guess we could call it. We're not actually fishing today. Um, this is more of a fly tying deal. This is really a head to head battle, honestly. Uh, I'm going to share my opinions and my experiences with the Peak Rotary Vice and the Renzetti Saltwater Traveler 2200. I'm going to share some, uh, I guess, my opinions about them, some kind of facts about them. We're going to talk price point because that's what I know everyone wants to know. Um, and then I guess we'll let you guys make the decision. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say which vice I think is better. You might get a, you might. Get, get the vibe on my opinion throughout this video, but we'll see. Um, all right, so here's the peak. Um, I, don't know, I was about to say, here's the one everyone knows and loves, but these are two super popular vices. These are probably some of the most popular vices out there. Uh, price point's good on both of them. They both work very well. Uh, they both um, will tie a lot of good flies. Well, they don't tie flies. They hold the hook while you tie the fly onto, onto the hook, but, um, but yeah, so peak, um, it's got a huge base, which you can see right here. Uh, I don't know exactly what material it is, it doesn't really matter, but it's really heavy, um, which is fantastic. Um, you can tie with some big hooks on these jaws, and you can have a big hook hanging out real far, crank down on it with some Kevlar thread, and this base does not move. Uh, it's just, it's big and heavy, and it doesn't move. Um, which might be one downside to the Renzetti. I know they just came out with a newer version a little while ago with a bigger base. This is not that one. Uh, I can't talk about that new one because I haven't used it. But I have maybe tipped this one that like that before. Maybe just saying. Um, so basically, the way the jaws work, uh, these are two different. I guess the mechanics are different. Um, this one they call a cam system. Um, so if we get a real close up here on this lever, uh, that lever as it goes, it's I mean it's it's circular on the this this pivot point here, and when you spin it it gets wider. So basically when you sp spread the back side of the jaws open, just from physics, I mean it's just science, the jaws close. So basically when you're putting a hook in, you put the hook in, you tighten down this knob here, the tension knob, to get it fairly snug but not tight on the hook, and then you close it like that. And that's how that works. So that's the cam system. So if we move on to the peak, I don't know what they call this to be honest. I'm not a scientist. I know a lot about science, but I'm not a scientist. This is a little different. So instead of having a small tension knob here, you have this bolt, or I'm sorry, this is a nut, not a bolt. I see I'm not a scientist. Um, but this is basically your tension. So you put the hook in, you get this fairly snug um, as it's going, and then you squeeze this lever. And what this lever does is basically you have this metal sleeve here, and whenever you pull that lever, it pulls the jaws through this sleeve. So the, the jaws naturally want to flare out a little bit, so then when you pull them back in the sleeve, they close. So that's what's holding the hook in place. So different mechanism, different mechanics, uh, they both work great to be honest. Um, I mean, if I had to say one holds hooks better than the other, see you might get my opinion here a little bit more. Um, this might hold hooks just a little bit bigger. And so if we're talking about smaller hooks, you know the sixes, the fours, even the twos, I think they're very, very similar, very close. Um, but when you're talking 2.0s, 4.0s, uh, stuff like that, I think this one does a little bit better. Uh, I've never had to replace jaws on either one. I've had, I had one of these for, uh, that was a loud horn. Um, I've had one of these for six years, something like that, never replaced the jaws, tied tons of flies on them. Uh, I haven't had one of these for as long, but it's still been probably a good four years or so. Uh, never replaced the jaws on this either. Um, I mean, it's really great. They both come with bobbin cradles. Uh, nice bob and cradle. The peak one's kind of cool. Peak mountains, mountain peak. This one looks like mountains. That's, that's cool. That's just cool. Um, I mean, this one's just your standard bob and cradle. Boring. Uh, works well. Both work very well. Um, let's see what else. I mean, you got a little bit more complexity going on here. This comes with the material holder, um, which is kind of cool. This one you don't get that. You can buy that, but it does not come with it. 
Um, you got a couple adjustments. You can have the lever on the top or on the bottom, which brings me to another good point. They're both fully rotary, as you can tell. Um, twist all the way around. Um, you got a little bit more flexibility here. You can move the lever up or down this one. The peak, you can't, um, but price point wise, um, we're talking $149 for the peak. Exactly the way you see it right now. 149 big ones. That's not that bad. Um, not that this is overly expensive, but it's more expensive. For what you're getting here, I think this is, I gotta check the exact price, I should know that. Um, I'll have Jake put a little thingy in there, the exact number, but it's not much over 200 bucks, um, which is still a good deal. You're getting plenty of value there um, for that vise. Now this, the vise itself is um, it's quite a bit lighter than the Peak, which you could, oops, um, which could be a positive or a negative. I mean, they do call this the Traveler. Um, so, I mean, if you're taking this with you, if you're anything like Evan Webb, high flies. I'm um, pretty sure he ties on one of these. Maybe not this exact model, but he does tie on a Renzetti Traveler. But he travels a lot. So it's much easier for him to carry this than this beast. Um, so, I mean, it really comes down to A, budget, um, and B, what you're going to do with it. I mean, are you going to be moving it around? Is it going to sit on your desk? and never move from your fly tying desk. I think if it's gonna come down to that, never moving, you should buy the Peak. A little bit less money, a um, little bit heavier, a little bit beefier. Um, it's gonna do a great job. If you're gonna be traveling at all, uh, I mean even a little bit, and you're gonna to wanna to take it with you, you're going to Colorado, uh, you're going out west, uh, you're going down to the Keys, um, you're gonna be flying with it, I think the Traveler's the way to go. Um, a, little, a little lighter, a little easier to take with you. Um, so, it's my opinions, it's my two cents, um, you make your own decision. Uh, either way, we got them both in the store. We also, in terms of peak, have this little guy. Same jaws, the same stuff that makes this amazing, a little bit smaller base, but you don't need it, it's just non-rotary. Uh, same jaws though. This is 90 bucks, people. $90. If you're wanting to get into fly tying, buy this now. Come to the store right now and buy it. You wanna buy this? Okay, so see sold, just like that, done. You can't come in and get this now. We'll have more. But seriously, 90 bucks, and you can't beat it. Just come down to 30801 US Highway 19 North to Tailwater Outfitters and just buy it. Uh, yeah, come check these out. Uh, we'll let you fiddle with them, play around with it, uh, see which one you like better, and uh, make you a deal. So, I think I'm done here. You think, are we done here? I think we're done here.